The Indonesian National Army has a very long track record of protecting the nation's sovereignty. And as a defense fortress, the TNI apparently has a number of special forces ready to be deployed to protect the unitary state of the Republic of Indonesia. In fact, almost all special troops made in, in Indonesia are respected and recognized by foreign countries. Here are 10 special forces Indonesian military forces that are respected in the world. But before that don't forget to like and subscribe, and watch the video until it's finished, so you will be lucky in the future. This special unit is a combat commando unit owned by the Indonesian Army. The Special Forces Command has a special capability of moving fast in any field of fast shooting, reconnaissance and anti-terrorism. Kopassus soldiers are known for their Red Berets, so they are called Red Berets. Its motto is is dare to be right and succeed. Various operations were successfully carried out by Kopassus, such as the crushing of DTII, PRRI military operations or Permesta, Operation Tricora, Operation Dwikora, to crush PKI, Papara di West Irian, and Saroja operations in East Timor. In addition, Kopassus also succeeded in conducting hostage release operations at Don Muang Airport, Thailand. Operations to free hostages in Mapenduma. Operations to free hostages of Somali parades. And various other military operations. is a special force owned by the Indonesian Navy. The Frog Troop Command, or the Kapaska for short stood at Sokarno's direction, to support the campaign for the liberation of West Irian on March 31, 1962. Kapaska has the task of raiding enemy ships and bases, destroying underwater installations, seizing shore, and amphibious landing operations. This unit has the motto, Tan Hana Wina Tan Serna, which means there are no insurmountable obstacles. This unit was founded on November 4, 1982, under the name Special Forces of the Navy or Pasisla. Initially, this elite force was formed to deal with various threats from marine aspects, such as terrorism, sabotage and other threats. Because the development of the troops was so capable, on 12 November 1984, the name Detachment Jala Mankara, or Danyaka was formed. Dinyaka has the motto, Satya Wira Dharma. The hallmark of this elite troop is wearing a black uniform and wearing a purple beret. The Special Forces Corps is a special unit in the Indonesian Air Force. Haskas is an infantry fighting force with a unique combat organization format for the needs of the air element. Has the motto Karmani Vatakarast Mafalesu Kadatjana, which means to work without calculating profit and loss. In his duties, Haskas has succeeded in eradicating the RMS. DTII and PRRI Operation Trikora. Operation Dwikora. Operation Saroja. Operation Trisula and Eradication of Paraku, and many others.
The Combat Reconnaissance Platoon Unit, or abbreviated as Tontaipur, belongs to the Army Strategic Command, or Kostrad. Tontaipur was formed with the aim of a certain crushing, with a relatively small force and quality. This is the aim of the creation of Tontaipur to be able to move fast and quietly. Tontaipur has the ability of three dimensions whose members are recruited from Kostrad. Tontaipur is capable of carrying out operations in sea, marshes, mountain forests and even cities. In keeping with its existence to handle combat missions optimally, Tontaipur has the motto, fast, exactly, completed. And do not miss more interesting military world information, video top right corner is suggested. This battalion is a special unit within the Marine Corps of the Indonesian Navy. The formation of the battalion Intai Amphibie Unit was preceded by the need for complete intelligence data. Yantafibe's task is, is to foster and provide amphibious and land strength, as well as special operations duties in the implementation of amphibious operations and the Indonesian Navy Task Force has the motto, Maya Netra Yamadipati, which means moving quickly, secretly and deadly in every battle. It is an infantry fighting unit belonging to the Indonesian Army, which is formed by two Yanif Kostrad, and eight Kodam hitting Yanif. As a follow-up unit this unit has the capability of three regular infantry battalions. The capabilities that must be possessed are modern, anti-guerrilla, and anti-terror warfare. The motto of this special force is as fast, silent, and precise. SAT-81 Gulter or Sat Gulter-81, is part of the Indonesian Armed Forces which specifically tackles intelligence and counter-intelligence, city war terror. The number of personnel and weapons used is strictly confidential. The vision and mission of this unit is the same as their motto, which is as unknown, unheard, and invisible. Abbreviated as Sat Bravo 90, this special force was previously named in Bravo 90. Sat Bravo 90 is a special operations unit for the special forces. Corps which is directly under Dangkor Paskas. The Bravo 90 Paskas unit is tasked with carrying out intelligence operations to paralyze enemy defense equipment or installations in support of air operations and counter-terror attacks by air parades and other operations in accordance with the policies of the TNI commander. Sat Bravo 90 is the Indonesian Special Forces youngest in formation. The motto of this troop is Jiva Wijaya. Although not from the TNI, Densis 88B, or Detachment 88 is very well known by other countries. Densis is a unit belonging to the police. This unit is an anti-terror unit tasked with tackling terrorism from hostage taking to bomb threats. The personnel of this unit are estimated to be up to 400 personnel, which includes bomb disposal experts. <laughs> 